Welcome back guys. I wanna share with you, every sort of consumer moves, right? Everybody moves to a new state and you have a hairdresser and you're just like, I love my hairdresser, I don't wanna move. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do when I move to find a new hairdresser? Well, there's three different things that I want you to look for when you're looking for a new hairdresser. Number one, if you move to a new city, the thing that I always recommend to my clients, find people, you know, when you're out and about shopping in a restaurant, look for people that have really good hair, the kind of hair that you want, right? That's number one. You can also do that on social media, but sometimes social media, those people aren't living there, whatnot. So I always recommend to people, and if you do find people in that city that have good hair, approach them, ask them, say, hey, where did you get your hair done? You have beautiful hair. And so if you start to hear one specific salon or one specific stylist all the time, number two, what I would do is I would go in and make an appointment, a blow dry, okay? Or a deep treatment, you know, don't get anything super abrasive. Just schedule that specific type of appointment and go in and just kind of see what you think, okay? And that leads me into number three, which is gonna be like, if you, when you do book that appointment and you have that, I want you to pay attention to a few things. How is the salon staff treating you, okay? Are they super professional? Are they a little bit more kind of on the lax side as where they don't, they just don't really care? Um, is it a place to where, you know, the, the shampoo setting is amazing? Does the stylist consult with you? Do they kind of ask you your, yeah, the, the good points about your hair, the bad points about your hair, what you want, what you don't want? Are they asking you about your color? Even though you have just a blow dry booked, any sort of good hairdresser is gonna start asking you about the history of your hair. And so, and those are gonna be like three good signs that you're like, you know what, I'm in really good hands. And then if your service turns out really well, book an appointment for a haircut and or a color because that's a really good way to find a hairdresser. Because again, if it didn't go well, you're not out anything as far as a bad haircut or a bad color, and then you can move on to the next person or the next salon that you see. So those right there, guys, if you run into an issue and you're really trying to find a hairdresser because you move, look for really good hair. Um, if you start hearing the name, the salon or a person, book a, a, sh a shampoo, a style and or a treatment, um, and then pay attention to their communication skills and all those good things. Good luck guys. Uh, again, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you found value in this video, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks again.